Now, at one point in this film, we see um, a sign saying infantry. And of course, infant is a child. And we hear on the soundtrack uh, this whole group of trainees shouting, I want to kill somebody. How does that fit in with democracy? Uh, how is it uh, democratic to use taxpayers' money to train children to shout at the tops of their voices, I want to kill somebody? That's not democratic. If they shout, I want to defend somebody, yes, that's democratic. But I want to kill somebody, that is uh, demonic. Well, if you want to search for the Antichrist, I suggest you start at the Pentagon. Now, if you look at a satanic pentagram, every Masonic Lodge and every Church of Satan somewhere in the building has a five-pointed satanic pentagram. And if you look at the satanic pentagram in the center of the pentagram, you see a pentagon. And the Pentagon building itself is a grandiose piece of occult architecture. And the United States and indeed many cities around the world are full of occult buildings. Um, the Pentagon is orientated towards the north. This traditionally in magic terms is the point on the compass where the god of war or the spirits of war are invoked at the north point of the compass. If you look at an aerial picture of the pentagon, you'll see that it's a pentagon, inside a pentagon, inside a pentagon, inside a pentagon. And this is symbolic of the way secret societies set themselves up with an outer circle of members, and then you have the inner circle, and then you have the inner core. Washington, D.C is a fascinating place to explore once you've learnt the signs and all the symbols of Freemasonry and uh, satanic groups such as uh, the OTO. What Washington DC is, is fashioned after an Egyptian necropolis. And an Egyptian necropolis in the ancient era of Egypt, uh, the pharaonic dynasty of Egypt, um, an Egyptian necropolis is a temple for the dead. And what Washington DC is, um, is a modern version of an ancient Egyptian temple for the dead. But this is now a temple of death. And uh, if you want to look for satanic inspired architecture, look no further than the Washington Monument. Um, it's proportioned after the giant obelisks of Egypt, and its height above ground is 555 feet. But it's anchored, obviously, in, into the ground, uh, just over 100 feet deep, the foundation uh, runs. 111 feet, about 20% of the uh, height of the overall building above ground. If you add 20% onto 555, you end up with 666. The Washington Monument is 666 feet in totality. The other aspects of Washington DC are typically Masonic. Um, the small roads within the parklands uh, surrounding the White House uh, have been exposed by David Icke and many other authors as uh, making up the shape of an owl, which is the symbol of uh, Bohemian Grove in California, the Bohemian Club. Um, an owl uh, sitting on the top of a pyramid, and of course the pyramid is uh, one of the symbols that was uh, used by the Bavarian Illuminati. And the whole of Washington DC is this modern temple for death. And the death management center is the Pentagon.
The book of Revelation warns of an age of destruction, where planet Earth will be writhing in pain like a mother giving birth. The book of Revelation prophesies the birth of the Antichrist, who will emerge to wield great political power across the planet. The plan of the Antichrist is very simple. Famine, plague, war, total annihilation of all living creatures. There will not be just one Antichrist. The ancient texts of Islam warn us that the Antichrist, as foretold in the Quran, in which the Antichrist is called the Dajjal, will be assisted by many minor Antichrists. These minor Antichrists, or Dajjals, herald the era of the great Dajjal, the supreme Antichrist, the premier son of Satan, who will spread terror in the name of peace. Oh,